Hi, I'm Pam, a trainer here at Alteryx. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get data from a SQL database. Before you can connect for the first time, you must have the ODBC driver for the database you want to connect to installed. Most of the time, this is something that your IT administrator has already done for you. But if it isn't, you can find driver information and instructions on what to install by opening the help and then finding the type of database you want to connect to under data sources. So in my case, I want to connect to a Microsoft Azure SQL data warehouse. I've installed this driver already. After the driver is installed, you must configure the connection to the database. You can find step-by-step -step instructions on the community. This is a one-time setup. Bringing in data from files or databases Using the input data tool is simple once you've completed this first step. To connect to a database, I simply go to the in out category and locate the input data tool. I click on it, drag it onto my canvas and drop it. Under connect a file or database, I go to database connection and the very first time I will click new ODBC connection. I'll have a list of all the connections that have been configured on my machine, and in this case, I named the connection Alteryx Training Azure. In my case, I have to enter the username and password. Your network administrator may have configured your connection to use your Windows login. That's certainly a lot easier than having to type the password in each time. So once I click OK, Alteryx will go out to my database and it will pull in a list of tables. For now, what I want to do is just bring in all the fields that are in one of my tables. So I'll switch over to the Tables tab and select the Stores table. When I click OK, Alteryx is now configured to pull in that data. But as you know by now, Alteryx is not going to read in the data until I click the Run button. However, since I'm just starting to build out my workflow, I'm going to actually tell Alteryx to cache the data. This will make the second and third time I run the workflow a little bit faster. Alteryx won't have to go out and refresh the entire data set. Go ahead and click Run. And you can see that Alteryx has pulled in all of my records from the stores table. In the SQL database, I have two tables, stores and transactions. And these tables actually have a relationship. And I could individually pull in the tables as shown here if I wanted to and join them on that key field store number, right? So on the left I have store num, and on the right I have store ID. The same thing can actually be accomplished within my input data tool, and I am going to show you how to do that. So when I want to modify what table is selected, I can go to my configuration and click the ellipsis. This brings me back to my dialog where I can specify a table or a query. And I could actually just build a very simple query that will do that inner join for me. So I'm going to select this option. So this is my stores table that's now selected. And the asterisk option means to bring in all of the fields that are in that table. Now I want to add the second table transaction, and I'm going to double click it to have it show up in my query builder. Now I'm going to tell Alteryx please bring in all of the fields from transactions, and what I want to do is create the relationship between my store number and the store ID. This is very simple. I just click on the store number while it's highlighted and drag it over to store ID, and you can see that chain looking indicating that these two fields are now associated has been created and I click OK and I'll add a browse tool just to make sure I can 
see all of my records and not a sample. I'm not sure how many records I'm going to end up with. So I'll go ahead and click Run. Now it will actually bring in the same thing, right, that inner join. So now you can see I have all of my, um, you know, things from my store table, right, associated with my transactions table. So I don't know about you, but I actually am a little bit familiar with SQL, and it could be that I want to bring in data, and I actually want to use some SQL functions. So it's possible for me, and I typically will do this in um, right, some type of SQL client, I'll write out a query and test it and make sure it works, and I can actually have Alteryx pull in the results of the query for me. So here in Notepad, you can see my SQL query. So if I wanted to do this same, just bring in those results to Alteryx, I can click on the ellipsis in my configuration pane, go to my SQL editor, right? And I can see that Alteryx has written this SQL for me and click delete here to remove it. And let me bring up my Notepad again and I can just copy my functioning SQL, so I'm doing control C, right, and then paste it, control V, um, right in the SQL editor. Now I can force the SQL editor to always be what shows up if I want by clicking this um, checkbox down the bottom, and whenever I'm entering SQL in the SQL editor, I typically will test it to make sure that it can go out to my database, run the query, and it will tell me here if my query is pulling back no records. So this query should be pulling back records and it looks like it's successful. So I'll go ahead and click OK, and I'll click OK here, and I'll go ahead and run it. So there you have it, three different ways to pull in data from a database.